Hello again, Ian Sturkey with Mastermind Games, back with another Scorn video, and this time a Cyclops Raider, 09077 Marine Teal. So the Cyclops Raider is a white Ranger or Ranger Warbeast, and actually I'm using the wrong color first, I should be using 09164 Dark Elf Skin and getting the cloth, but the Raider uses a projectile weapon called a reaver heavy in his case and it uses a gas pressure system gotta move this a bit more I guess he's gonna take a few extra cars that the savage didn't need but the heavy reaver is a it's not technically a firearm but it's a firearm like weapon that uses a gas pressure system to shoot a <coughs> hail of needles at its targets. Has burst fire, giving it extra damage against larger targets. And its animus gives it uh, snipe, plus four range. Backs that up with a punching spike on its gauntlet here, which I'll get to in a bit. Uses a lot of the same parts as the Savage, though, same legs. The arms are a little different, but not by much. Head's different, banner's the same. Okay. All right. Oh, almost forgot. Hands. And then there is uh, one more color I can do right this minute. And that's going to be old bronze, 09197. So the smaller version of the Reaver. And I'm assuming this would apply to the Heavy as well. The cones come pre-loaded with the needle ammo, and the operators simply switch out fresh cones and fresh gas canisters as needed. The scorn do have access to gunpowder. They use it in their cannons carried by models I do not own right now. Okay, that's a good start. So just let that dry, come back in a little bit. Okay, now Marine Teal 09077. Yeah, I'm not talkative right now because this is literally the first thing I'm doing this morning. <laughs>
out for the most part. So yeah, I can't think of a thing to say right now. Just worn out. Just about done with this color. That's got the teal for now. So I'll let that dry and then I can get some work done with it. Okay, next up 09002 Deep Red. Pretty much just mimicking the same pattern I did on the Cyclops Savage last time. Zero nine zero five zero eight T gold. Oh. Just remember the same tassels I almost missed on the savage. So go. And there's a third cyclops uh, that uses most of these parts. I think it's the called a brute. more defensive with a pole arm shield. But, <clears throat> uh, these guys have definitely gotten some much needed upgrades for a third edition. It makes them much more attractive options. Which they need to because again uh, up until third edition I only ever saw 
the Cyclops Shaman and Moloch Karn being used no other Cyclops at any other time. Well, that's why the paper towel is handy to have. It makes it quicker, it makes it easier to clean up mistakes like that. Of course, the immortal Bob Ross likes to say there are never any mistakes, just happy accidents, but... <laughs> and again... Kind of funny, I had a uh, teacher that liked to quote Bob Ross on that, but he was very critical of anything he viewed as a mistake. Kind of hypocritic there. Okay. Huh. Almost forgot my own color scheme for a second there. We'll go ahead and leave the well. Yeah. Go ahead and pick out this part of the gauntlet gold anyway. And I'm looking at this punching spike. And I'm wondering if that's supposed to be horn as opposed to metal. Think about it while I can get the rest of the gold. But there's only one more base coat, and it is going to be the steel. of intelligence of uh, war beasts so war jacks of war machine are generally depicted as being about as smart as a trained dog but those that have uh, can over time develop distinct personalities such as old rowdy's aggression or uh, thorns protectiveness and Rociante's inexplicable affinity for children, but in the war beats it can vary greatly. Okay, let's go ahead and do some steel now. So tarnished steel 09206. I think I'm trying to say that word way too fast, and that's what's throwing me off. But, So war beasts can vary greatly. Dire trolls have at least a minimal amount of intelligence. Cyclops, I believe, are supposed to be at least moderately intelligent. I'll go ahead and get this part in silver as well. Warp wolves. They can be intelligent. I like human intelligence. They in fact are the are created from humans and are the werewolves of the Iron Kingdoms. But hmm, this is quite
What a variance. And the capital of his banner. Okay, I'm starting to ramble again. All right, well, that is base coat, so once that is completely dried, I can start shading. All right, time to shade with red brick 09001. Base coats, you want to go from the lowest area, typically the skin or cloth, to the highest. Shading high area to low area, and highlighting low to high again. Don't have paint half water to dilute it into a wash. Now, for the color, specific color you want to shade with, you're going to want a darker version of your base coat, and for your highlight, a lighter version of your base coat. And one uh, simple way to do that is to just custom mix with using uh, black to darken to make your shade and light to light to make your highlight. But that does require quite a bit of work, but also I feel the doing it this way gives a slightly better result. And it seems I missed part right in the neck, so I'm gonna go back and touch that up later. But for now, black and steel 09205. Go ahead, I can get that one too. I missed a base coat. Oil leather 09110. There's not as much of it on this guy, but uh, still frustrating that I did that and didn't catch it till just now, but that's still okay. This is just going to go on the binds of the gauntlets. It's still pretty early in the morning for me. This is, again, the first thing I'm doing today. Still waking up. Okay, that's got it. Let's get that black and steel. Which again is 09205. Doesn't really matter where I start as long as I get them all. I tend though to end with the areas I'm more likely to bump up against accidentally. heavy reaver. All right, then let's last the base coat and start on the shade. So once that's dry, I can whoop, move on to the next. Okay, next up. Red brick zero nine zero zero one. I'll start with the parts I always seem to forget. It's just my computer saying I've got some update. Okay. And then 
it's just going to have to wait for a bit. Ancient Bronze 09049. Still early in the morning for me. Now I want to get the blue before the bronze, so I'll do the bronze when I do the <clears throat> cloth. That can try for now. All right, now, is it? Deep Ocean 09076. taking caution around the tassels here. Don't need to be as worried about nicking the uh, dark gray because that will balance itself out once I get that one take shaded.
And I have forgotten about the uh, leather again, so I'll have to make sure I do that. It'll be alright. I'd have to come after this one anyway. And I found a regular towel doesn't work quite as well. I'm going to have to wait before I do the brown, so let's come back in a minute and then we'll get there. Okay, the blue is not completely dry, but it's dry enough in areas I can work on the brown. Ruddy Leather 09109. <coughs> Don't need too much of this. This will actually work out a little better than what I had planned to do initially, so. And then aged pewter 09196. So that's just going to leave the cloth, and when I do that, I can probably go ahead and get the uh, barrels or exit points on the reefer as well as his the slot in his visor. Okay, pure black zero nine zero three seven. And my paint goes flying. This is the bottle with the bad threading. Using a thinner brush. And that slit the visor. these triangular indentations on the heavy reaver which function as the barrels. Okay, 
and this weapon shoots a hail of needles. Okay. And then before I do the last shade, pure white, 09039, I'll get the gems started. Brush is about shot. Now, Dark Elf Shadow zero nine one six three. Bit in the neck there, and get the cloth, the gloves, her hands. Well, hands and gloves. I'm, I'm a nervous wreck again. Soak down the leg into the boot. Fix that really quick. Just blot it out with the paper towel. Alright. Let that dry. And I can get work done on the gems. Comet Jewels. Pine Green 09010. Fine tipped brush. Oh, this is still wet, but it's wet enough to work with. Or dry enough to work with, oh boy. This is how the day starting. Okay. All right. Now once that's completely dry all around, I can go ahead and finish those up and hit highlights and details after that. Okay. Next up, pale green zero nine zero one two. This is the last wash I need to do on this. And it's all highlights and details from here on out. Take a tiny brush. Once that's completely dry, I can highlight the detail and get this radar finished up. Okay, 
highlights and details. Dark Elf Highlight 09165. Again, focusing on the most readily visible surfaces. This is a dry brushing technique, so I'm using no water and rubbing the brush in a paper towel until it looks like there's almost nothing left. It'll catch on the raised areas. Since I have several suitable brushes and you need a perfectly dry one, I am rotating as I go along. Next, how about Burnt Orange 09111? I've been wondering if I should have done the gauntlet spike and the color reminiscent of horn or tusk, but meh, it's fine. Okay, next, the bronze, I think, so that will be 09198 tarnished brass. Since this isn't a firearm, since it doesn't actually use a, uh, since it's not actually a gunpowder weapon, but uses pressurized gas. But it's probably fair to consider it more brutal than a firearm, since it flays its targets with a hail of uh, needles. But that is just how the score will roll, because again, they're kind of evil. Surf Aqua 09078. Somehow meant to drop all these brushes under my camera. I'm not sure how. Okay, that is not quite right. Okay. So this here is a bit too much paint in the mix, but I'm just gonna roll with it this time. It'll be fine. Now here on the hip armor, that's a little better. I'll put my focus on areas that are most readily visible. Just a little more pain. Make sure I get the brush cleaned out a little more thoroughly this time. Better. Slightly dust.
It's a very nice texture on that right pauldron. Blood red zero nine zero zero three. Not too terribly much of this, just on tassels pretty much. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. Scrubbing that off of the jewel with my thumb real quick, it's fine. Getting that brush dried out thoroughly because I'm going to need this again right now with new gold 09051. Just about done. Last color. True silver zero nine two zero seven.
I'm going to open this part first. Then I'll go to the reaver. All right, that's highlights. And no, not yet with that. We'll take then, or no, not blood red, deep red zero nine zero zero two, and get all dark. Which is plugged up. So just clear it with a paper clip. There we go. And then using a flat head brush, because this works a little better this way. Gonna do gonna start on the arc, being careful to avoid the toe where it touches the edge of the base. And I am overextending on purpose because I will backfill after this dries to get the exact arc. Okay, so once that dries, a few details, and then I base it, and we're done. Well, this is going to be a little different. So, blood red again, 09003. for the purpose of putting the faction symbol on the banner. Let's get a camera. And freehanding this stuff is not Easy takes a lot of practice, and this is only the second time I've tried to this with the scorn faction symbol, so not too bad. This side didn't turn out quite as well, but eh. keep that till we get it right. Uh, yeah, pure black zero nine zero three seven. As first off, I'm going to touch up the visor a bit. Yes, I'm in camera. Let's maybe get him a little closer to the camera. That's better. And then... Open that down. This is a self-healing cutting mat put out by Privateer Press. It has markings for the uh, base arcs. So I'm going to center him on the 40 millimeter the way I want. Taking pure black, I'm going to just carefully do the edge. Now that's done with a fine brush. I'll scoot up my blind and flip my camera back up. Take the flat brush and backfill carefully. Being very careful around the toes. Huh. 
somehow managed to leave a brush my paint water and didn't notice. That's not good. Okay. Pure white 09039. And I'm hoping the black will dry as I'm doing the rest of this, at least on the back enough to do the next step. This one has a bad threading on the cap, too. Let's go with a cool shine on the jewel here. And the front. It's not quite dry enough, so I'm going to have to wait. But all I need to do now is put a number on the back of the base and add the basic material. Time to finish. Boy. So, taking that pure white 09039, I believe. Just going to put a Roman numeral on the back. Number one, since this is the first of these guys I'm getting, but won't be the last. And while that dries, I've got my sand right here. I'm mixing up a solution of white glue and water. A sacrificial brush. And where's my eyedropper? There it is. Mix that up real, well, real thoroughly while the uh, paint I just put on dries. Okay. Get this set aside, grab the Cyclops and Start painting around the feet. And this did have a slot in the base so that rough patch is just masking tape I used to fill. That way the sand will not slide through and make a big divot. Which will happen because it happened on every model I did before I started taping up the excess in the slot. And if the model has a tab at its feet, I will accommodate that, but I'll generally just also push the model into and through any tape I put down, at least to a certain extent. And very generous on the glue here. Let's see, that's dry enough, so give them a dip. That's pretty good. Then taking another brush, just going to brush away from areas where it got a little excessive. It's just going to have to sit for a bit before I seal it, so just about done. Okay, time to finish up. Spray our brush on a piece of eyedropper, glass is best, because this stuff will bond to plastic quickly, and carefully drip, and you need to give this uh, time to set for a bit. Otherwise, this will do nothing more than push it around and make little gaps and holes. So, let this set for about 20 minutes, but you might need longer depending on humidity, temperature, etc. Cleaning out. And this will seal it and 
from the sand and rock hard shell. You always want to do that to keep the basic material on the base and not in your box. And that is it. Cyclops Raider from the Scorn Faction of Hordes. Hmm. Camera doesn't want to focus on it, but work on that, I guess. But that's it. So uh, up next, more Scorn, and actually one of the more iconic war beasts from the faction. Till next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games signing out.